empathy. Okay, so empathy, and this is a behind the post, empathy. So I recently did a post evolver and it was about empathy and it went a little something like this. If you ask what somebody's story is first, then the rest of the conversation will go so much better. <laughs> so my thoughts on empathy. First of all, I just, I, I sure in a hell don't think there's an, enough empathy going around these days. I, I just, I really don't, you know. <laughs> there's, we live in a world now that is so self-centered, right? We, we, um, we have so much going on, on on social media. Everybody's competing for attention. Um, you know, it seems like everyone kind of wants this idea of all eyes being on me. And so I guess what I really noticed about empathy, my first thoughts on empathy is that everybody wants empathy, <laughs> but not everybody is willing to offer empathy. So behind the post, when I think of that, that whole idea about empathy, my thoughts are, man, this would be an awesome world if everybody just practiced a little bit more empathy. And we think it's a hard thing, but it's really not. It's not. Practicing empathy is not hard at all. You know, imagine what kind of a world we would live in if on an everyday basis, we woke up and we made a commitment to ourselves to just relate, to relate to someone, not to relate to them because you want something out of them, not to relate, you know, with them because you feel like if you get to know them, you know, you're gonna have an advantage some kind of way or get something in your life that they have or get access to something that you want access to by knowing a person. I mean, just generally relating. Generally having a conversation with someone and peeling back the layer to say, how are you? How are you feeling today? right? Think about that evolver. Because that's what I think about when I think about empathy. You know, I use empathy quite a bit. I, I actually use empathy um, a lot in my working environment. I use it when I'm relating with my peers. I use it when I'm working on a project with someone. And a little bit of empathy goes a long way, right? Just by asking a person, well, what, what are your desires? Like, what do you truly want out of this? And how are you feeling about it right now? And, oh, by the way, are you okay? <laughs> I remember specific moments using empathy when, you know, I, I heard about someone being just a difficult person to relate to and a difficult person to deal with in a work environment. And I made a conscious decision to say, I'm not gonna have that same experience with the person. So when I did have an issue arise and the person was, was sort of snarky or said something smart to me, you know, instead of doing what that person expected and we're gonna have a battle and go back and forth, what I chose to do is diffuse the situation and just say, are you okay? <laughs> right. And it was because I wanted that person to feel better, right? I knew that if this person was going through something and had, you know, sort of a reputation to be difficult to, to work with, there's often something else going on behind the scene. And that's when empathy can come into play. But Evolver, I know some of you who are watching this video, you are empaths, you're empathic like me. And so that is something that comes naturally for impact. So I guess I want to steer the conversation in another direction about what I think about empathy. Because I think when it comes to empathy and being a natural empath, there often is a, a place you get to in your life where you've been practicing so much empathy until you're wondering now, you know, who's going to be empathetic, you know, for me, 
And I, and I know that happens. I know some people are watching this video and you're like, you're, you're spot on. <laughs> and so one thing that I think can happen when we practice empathy is not only offer ourselves and our attention to others, but offer our ability to be an example for others, leveraging empathy. And so let me give you an example. So, you know, just like a lot of people are looking for people to be empathetic with them and they may be having a hard time, a difficult time, they may be sad, they may be going through depression. Um, there are people on the flip side of the coin who care absolutely nothing about empathy. It's like the world is mine. I'm thinking about what I'm trying to accomplish. I don't really care about your feelings or what you're doing. And that, that is a total void of empathy. And so as an empath, a lot of times what we can do is step into that person's purview and then reflect back to them what empathy looks like and what the lack of empathy looks like as well. So let me first say that before you even attempt to go in this direction with the person, if you, you actually should be very familiar with if you're an empath or not. <laughs> but if you are, then you know that when you're about to step into the space of serving as an example of how to better inspire someone to be more empathetic when they lack empathy, you know, you know when you're an empath, you can directly recognize that then take the opportunity to do it, but only if you can sense that from the person. And what you can do is when a person is in a state of complete, you know, narcissism, but it seems like they're open to, you know, seeing you as a reflection of what they're putting out there, then do it, Evolver, because I think that is a way that we can start getting people to understand how to use empathy and put it out into the world. You know, if a person is is showing you that, you know, hey, I don't really care about your feelings, well then reflect back to that person, well, so here's what that looks like. I don't care about yours either, right? I mean, so this is what you're doing and let me reflect back to you what it looks like if I don't care. And, and as an empath, the reason why I say this is a good example for you to practice is because as an empath, you are only reflecting something that, you, that doesn't resonate with you, but you're serving as an example of how the lack of empathy can be detrimental to progress, right? So take the opportunity to show that and you can also state it as well, right? Because if there is a lack of progress because the general interest is not met because of the interest of one person and the person is open to having that conversation, you as an empath can influence that conversation and use empathy to have <laughs> that conversation. You know, so that's what I think about empathy. Evolver. I, I think there's just not enough of it. And I think a lot of us, if not all of us, can take one very, very simple step to bring a lot more empathy into the world so that we can have a better world. There's too much crime going on right now. There's, you know, there's racism, there's classism, you know, there's a lack of attention to the environment, to animal life, and it's all because of the lack of empathy. That's what I feel about empathy. There's just, there's not enough of it, Evolver. So what I urge you to do is just simply go out and ask the simple question, how are you doing today? Have that conversation with at least one person every day. By the way, Evolver, how are you doing today? <laughs> Leave me a comment. XO.